name is Eric Flug. I am a visual artist. I work in many mediums. Um, paint, clay, wood, metal, poetry. I'm originally from Omaha, Nebraska. I moved out here to Colorado about four years ago. Um, I would say that my work is inspired by just living life and experiencing a lot of nature themes, um, kind of psychedelic abstract themes. I think most of all, it's just creativity in general and making stuff and not really looking for inspiration, but creating consistently and work just comes out of that and evolves naturally. I think with a lot of artists, it starts in childhood and just being creative and kind of never letting that die and always wanting to be creative. Um, for me, I remember the first painting that I did that I realized was like a painting was in like fourth or fifth grade and I was just like moved into this new room in my house and like it's all blank walls I'm just gonna like take the watercolors and make a painting and um, I remember like really celebrating that and thinking it was awesome and always exploring different styles and then through high school I did a lot of ceramics and after high school I had moved into a house with some of my buddies and I really kind of went off into art and started taking it seriously. Some of the themes and messages I like to explore in my artwork um, include nature and geometric patterns in nature, color themes from nature and textures. Um, a lot of it kind of delves into visionary and like surrealism. Uh, sometimes comical surrealism and with different materials um, like the wood lamps and ceramic sculptures it's more about kind of ex exploring the limits of those materials and accentuating the beauty of what they can do. There's so many incredible artists that I admire their work and who they are as a person especially here in Colorado. It's hard to um, get into who specifically. I don't wanna start naming names because I feel like I'll leave people out and there's, the list is probably like hundreds of people, but yeah, I definitely say the visionary community in Denver and abroad, um, so many great artists there. Everyone here at Tinker Mill is incredible. Um, so many people making different things sharing ideas. I think there's, anywhere you look here, there's gonna be someone in your backyard who's making awesome stuff and has great ideas and potential for um, kind of revolutionary art. My creative process usually starts with me working on one thing and then um, sometimes like getting distracted <laughs> or um, discovering something about a material or an idea and kind of diving into that. A lot of times I'll make a sketch or a series of sketches of an idea that pops in my head and a lot of times, especially with painting, I'll like take my canvas into Photoshop and play around with different ideas and placement of patterns. Some advice that I would give to an aspiring artist would be to make what you want to make, make what feels good to you, and don't stop doing that. But also, like, take your time. It's it doesn't happen overnight. Your skills are gonna grow probably more slowly than you think. The harder you work, the faster it'll grow. Um, keep applying for things. Don't get attached to any specific gallery or show. Um, you know, just apply and forget about it. See what happens later. Um, but yeah, always just keep making art. Um, one thing I used to say was, with much practice comes many products. And I think I still hold on to that. And I think it's kind of a good thing to keep in the back of your mind.
It's hard to say because the art scene is pretty great here in all of Colorado. And there's so many incredibly talented people and artists. Um, but I think it would evolve to become a more sustainable career and respectable path for people. Right now I have an installation at the Longmont United Hospital. It's um, of my wood lamps. This weekend I am painting at the Boulder Creek Festival. My painting at the Art Battle, they call it, where we like paint some chairs and then I got another show coming up and as always it's just the ideas in my head that I want to create and kind of finding time to do that and um, it's always great seeing an idea come into the actual world. <laughs> Some of the other things I'd like to bring awareness to are, first of all, my brand, EP Originals. Um, I worked really hard on building a website and putting everything together to make it look professional and provide artwork for people of all different, um, I guess, classes. I'd say check out Tinker Mill. If you're in the area, it's a great spot to come and make stuff and hang out. I just look forward to meeting people out in the world and sharing art and creativity and inspiration. I got a call the other day.